Hey there, I'm Meg and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to separate the background from a photo on Canva. Before we begin, you do need a Canva Pro account in order to do this. Canva Pro is a paid service but it is totally worth it. Alright, once you're ready to go, let's hop on over to Canva. I'm gonna shrink myself. There we go. Alright, so I just made a social media canvas. This is size for a social media post. But whenever you want to separate a photo from a background, I like to just start with the canvas size that I'm going to be working with. So if you're making a flyer, for example, you'll probably want to do an 8.5 by 11 canvas. So once you have that all set up, you're going to upload your photo or you can browse Canva's stock photography library. I'm just going to click on my photo here and I like to make it as big as possible and you'll see why it makes it easier afterwards. So once we have our photo in place we are going to head up to effects here and it's simple we're going to click that background remover and it's going to work its magic. And what you'll notice is that it really focuses on the subject of the photo. So me, I'm the subject. So it separated me from everything else. And what's really cool, we're gonna hit this slider here. It's really detailed. It does a great job. But let's say that you wanted to have more in the photo, like you didn't want everything separated, or let's say Canva didn't do a stellar job and left a little bit of edging from the background. Here's what you do. Erase eliminates the pieces that you don't want shown. Restore adds them back. So we're going to start with restore. And I always like to click this show original image. It just makes it so much easier. So let's say that I wanted to have my desk in view. I would just drag that brush over my desk. As you can see, I'm kind of making some errors there. All right, so let's just say... Let's call this good. So you can see there's a little bit up above my desk that I don't want. So we're going to click the erase and we're going to make the brush size a lot smaller. You can see the, the brush is shrinking on the canvas. And I'm going to zoom way in here. And note this is the, the little bar that helps you get from left to right. And I'm just going to ever so carefully remove that. So let's say you have this how you want it. You're going to click done. Now make sure you don't click done until you've finished using the erase and restore brushes. I haven't found a way to get back to those. If anybody out there knows the trick, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm dying to find out. All right, so you're going to click done. And there you are. And what you can do is you can just edit and design and play around however you like. Okay, so that is how you separate the background from a photo on Canva. I hope it helped. Remember, you need Canva Pro in order to do this, which is totally worth it. There are many other features to Canva Pro that are just fabulous. It is way easier to use than Adobe Illustrator. Of course, there are still applications for Illustrator, but when it comes to the background remover, so much easier to do in Canva than Illustrator. If you're looking to learn even more tips and tricks on Canva, as well as design tips to help you get the best on-brand, fresh, beautiful designs that people will not want to look away from, check out my online mini course, Create with Canva. I've linked to it down below. I've also linked to other free Canva tutorials down below, and if there's anything that you're looking to learn, please let me know in the comments. I hope this video helped, and I will see you in the next one.